aren't seated this morning actually, come to sit up on something, cushion or block. <clears throat> Cross the shin at the mid shin. And just like we were just talking about, that little flex of the feet just to stabilize the knees even there. Rest the hands on the thighs, palms face down and close your eyes. And just take a couple of breaths. And ground from the waist down, let the thighs relax down and sit tall up through the spinal column. Shoulders just ever so gently drawing back, not enough to pinch, but just enough so the chest is broad and the shoulder blades lie flat on the upper back rib cage. Backs of the ears stretch upright, the sides of the throat gently pull backwards. Jaw soft, tongue soft, eyes soft. Just take a few slower, longer, deeper breaths within the alignment. You feel an expanse up and out with your inhale and sit a little taller, but keep that sense of softness with your exhale. And keep that rhythm of breath and just consider, can you keep that internal gaze, that softness of spirit and that attention to the deep and nourishing breath, even as we start to develop the practice and in moments more of a demanding physical experience, can you stay soft and present? Take just one more breath as you are. And as you exhale, just fold the hands to prayer in front of the heart. Morning, Catherine. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, stretch up tall through the fingertips. Exhale, hands to prayer down the midline. Same thing two more times, a big inhale, circle. Smooth exhale, sit taller, prayer. And one more in. And out. This time, circle to side bend. Inhale, reach the arms. And as you exhale, side stretch to the right. So bring the right hand down, reach the left arm up and over your head. Take a nice deep breath up into the left rib cage, reaching further through the left hand. Inhale, stand up, reach both arms up overhead. Exhale, hands to prayer. Same thing, arm circle to second side stretch. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, side stretch left, left hand comes down, right arm reaches up and over. And take a nice deep breath into that right rib cage, reach through the right hand, nice crisp. Inhale, come on up, reach both arms up. Exhale, hands to prayer. Arm circle to twist, so inhale, reach out and up. As you exhale, twist round to the right. So bring the left hand on your right knee, right hand behind. Then inhale, sit taller. And exhale, turn a little further round. And then inhale, come back to center, reach the arms up overhead. Exhale, prayer. Arm circle to second twist. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, twist left. Right hand on your left knee, left hand behind. Good, sit tall as you inhale. Nice, Jenny. Turn round as you exhale. Relax the jaw, relax the front shoulder. And then inhale, come on back. Reach both arms back up one more time. Exhale, hands to prayer. Stay here. Take a nice deep, full breath in. And out through the mouth. And then mindfully release the hands. Keep breathing. Move whatever you're sitting on out the way. Come to all fours facing front. So for today, really trying to get that breath so nourishing. Inhale, lift the crown, lift the tail, slide the shoulders down. And exhale, round the back. Take your time. Same again. Inhale, try to fill the lungs. Stretch the lungs from the inside out. And exhale, round. One more time, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, round. 
Inhale, neutral spine, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift the knees to down dog. Now, as you inhale, lift up onto your tippy toes, lift the heels. Exhale, sink the right heel, bend your left knee. Inhale, lift both heels again. Exhale, sink the left heel, bend your right knee. Inhale, lift both heels again. Sink both heels as you exhale. Lift both heels again, inhale, and come back to all fours as you exhale. So that's it, we'll do it again. Inhale, lift the crown, lift the tail. Exhale, round the back. Inhale, lift again, shoulders pulled down, neck is long. And exhale, round, round a little more than before. One more, inhale, feeling your way into the breath and the spine. Exhale. Inhale, neutral spine, tuck the toes, lift the knees to down dog, exhale. Big inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, sink the right heel. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, sink the left heel. Inhale, lift the heels. And exhale, sink both heels. Lift the sit bones. Inhale, lift the heels. Drop back all fours. Exhale. This time, float the right leg up behind you. Inhale. Bring the knee to your nose. Exhale, round your back. Lift again, inhale. Knee to right upper arm, exhale. Lift the leg, inhale. Left upper arm, exhale. Lift again, inhale. One more knee to nose, exhale. Lift again, inhale, and step it through. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up overhead, square the hips. Exhale, bend into the front knee. Inhale, turn the palms forward. Exhale, cactus arms, squeeze the forearms back, elbows back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, squeeze, cactus, lunge further. One more, inhale. Exhale. Hands to prayer, inhale. Twist round right, exhale, hook the left elbow. Lengthen the spine, inhale, and turn the chest as you exhale. Bring the hands down, inhale. Sit the hips back, exhale, flex the right foot, right leg works towards straight. Let's move with this. So inhale, come forward, lunge, lift the chest. Exhale, sit back. One more, inhale, lift. Nice, exhale, sit back. Draw the toes back. Inhale, come forward again, plant the hands. Exhale, down dog, lift the hips, step back. Inhale, come forward, plank pose, fill your lungs. Move back, down dog, exhale, lift the hips. Twice again. Inhale, come forward, you could drop the knees. Exhale, bring it back. One more time, inhale, forward. And exhale, back. Inhale, stay there. Drop back all fours, exhale. Other side, left leg floats, inhale. Hopefully the breath's feeling pretty deep now. Knee to nose, exhale. Lift again, inhale. Left upper arm, exhale. Lift again, inhale. Right, exhale. Lift again, inhale. One more, knee to nose, exhale. Lift again, inhale. Step it forward, exhale. Rise up, low lunge, inhale, square the hips, great guys. Bend into the front knee, exhale. Turn the palms forward, inhale. Cactus, squeeze back, exhale. Inhale, reach up, nice Catherine. Exhale, squeeze, lunge forward. One more, inhale. Exhale. Hands to prayer, inhale. Twist round left, exhale. Lengthen as you inhale and turn as you exhale. Hands down, inhale. Sit on back, exhale, flex the left foot. Inhale, come forward, lift. 
exhale, sit back. One more, inhale. Good, and exhale. Inhale, come forward, plant the hands. Exhale, down dog, lift the hips. Take a breath. Lift the hips high, press the thighs back. Keep the breath flowing. You've really got that rhythm now, so keep honoring it even in a moment of stillness. And as you inhale, come on forward to plank. Exhale, lie down, drop the knees if you need. Point the toes back, come up onto the forearm sphinx. And as you hold sphinx, keep that breath flowing. Fill up with your inhale, narrow the shoulders back with your exhale. Breathe, lengthening up through the back of the neck. So the base of the skull lifts, the shoulders draw down. Good. Take a nice full breath in and lie down as you breathe out. Come up all fours or plank, inhale, and press on back to down dog, exhale. Now walk the hands back towards the feet. Inhale, end up at the back of the mat, catch the elbows, and hang, keep the knees soft, head so heavy, breath wide. And as you breathe, just shuffle the belly down the thighs so there's a little bit more length through the lower back. The breath can permeate into the mid back. And with your exhale, drop the arms. Inhale, roll up through the spine, gaze down till you're all the way up, shoulders roll back. Exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Catch the left wrist. Exhale, side stretch right. Bow the left hip left. As you inhale, come back, change. Exhale, side stretch other way. Nice. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, hands clasp behind you. Shoulders pull back. And exhale, draw the knuckles back, lift the chest, but keep the low back long. So tail draws down just that little bit, Miss Catherine. Take a full inhale and come to center. Exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, stretch up high. Exhale, fold all the way down, hands down. Inhale, walk your hands forward, come back to down dog. And when you get there, press the thighs back, exhale. Inhale, come forward to your plank position and exhale, lie down. Stretch the arms down by your sides, palms down. And as you inhale, lift the chest, arms and legs up off the floor. But for today, work to really pull the lower belly in. So by that, I mean ground the pubic bone and keep the lower back long. Then keeping that stability, can you lift the chest and the legs a little more? Nice work, take a full breath in and lie down as you breathe out. Up to all fours or plank, inhale, and press on back to down dog, exhale. Walk the feet up to the hands, inhale, and up at the front part of the mat now. Soft knees, catch the elbows like before, but change the cross of the forearms and hang. Shuffle the belly down the thighs. Maybe stay still or gently rock left to right. With your exhale, drop the arms. Inhale, roll up through the spine. Even here, belly gently tones in to support that low back. Shoulders pull back, head lifts last. Exhale, prayer. Good, inhale, reach out and up, take your time. Exhale, fold all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen up. Exhale, step the left foot back, deep lunge. Keep the left leg straight. Inhale, rise up for crescent pose. Square the hips front. Nice, Heather, bend into the front knee. Inhale, catch the left wrist, rise up. Exhale, little side stretch to the right. Press back through the left heel. Scoop up the frontal hip points. Nice, Catherine. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, both hands down. Inhale, turn round right, reach up. Exhale, drop the hips. You can let the left hip drop this for today, but just lengthen out through the neck. Inhale, bring both hands down to the floor, front foot stays. Exhale, straighten the front leg, hop in the back foot a step if you want. 
Inhale, chest forward, right hip back, and exhale, fold. Now, for today, for that lower back, think of narrowing the outer hips in. So it's almost like you're trying to squeeze the bum and squeeze the inner thighs together. Take a breath. Inhale, bend the front knee, hands down. Exhale, down dog, lift the hips, step back. Take a breath there, hips high, thighs back, head heavy. As you inhale, come on forward to plank and exhale, lie down. And stay by the ribs, inhale, low cobra. And in cobra, just like you did in sphinx and in locust, ground the pubic bone, little scoop up of the lower belly, shoulders pull back. Take a full inhale through the knees to down dog. Exhale, pull the hips back and up. Inhale, float the right leg up in the air behind you. Knee to nose, exhale. Lift again, inhale, and step it forward, exhale. Lift the chest up, inhale, lunge forward, exhale. Good, now hands down, inhale, and step the left foot forward, exhale, forward bend. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms. Good, sink, exhale. Clasp your hands behind you, inhale. Jenny, see how this feels, shoulders back. Exhale, fold, stretch the hands up to the sky and narrow the shoulder blades together. Maybe the hands stretch up and over the head, maybe not. Spread the toes, work the legs towards straight, and let the head go heavy. Nice, inhale, glide on back, chair again. Exhale, stand prayer. Other side, inhale, reach. Exhale, fold. And inhale, halfway lift. Right foot steps back. Exhale, keep it strong. Inhale, rise up crescent. Hip square. Good, exhale, bend. Right hand, grab, grab the right wrist, inhale. Little side stretch, left exhale. Catherine, spin the right hip forward a little more. Yep. Scoop up the frontal hip points, press back through the right heel. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms down. Inhale, twist around left, reach up. Let the right hip drop a bit for today. Keep working strong through that back leg though. Press the right heel back, reach the crown forward. Drop the chin a little, Jenny, just so the neck stays long. Yep. Inhale, both hands down, front foot stays. Exhale, straighten the front leg, hop in the back. Inhale, chest forward, hands could be on the block. And exhale, fold. And as you breathe, draw back the left hip. And again, think of squeezing the inner thighs as though towards one another. Think of hugging the outer hips in, like you're trying to narrow the sit bones to the tail. And as you maintain that, maybe fold a little more. One more breath. Inhale, bend the front knee, hands down. Exhale, down dog, lift the hips, walk the feet back. Inhale, come on forward to plank. Exhale, lie down. Inhale, cobra, stay, hover the hands off the floor. Narrow the shoulder blades, ground the pubic bone so that pit of the belly is really strong and keep that grounding of the pubic bone. Can you lift the chest more? Yes. Big inhale, lie down, exhale. All fours or plank, inhale, and press on back, down dog, exhale. Left leg floats, inhale. Knee to nose, exhale. Lift again, inhale. Step forward, exhale. Rise up, inhale. Bend, exhale. Good, hands down again, inhale. Step forward, exhale, forward bend. Chair, inhale. Sink, exhale. Second interlace, inhale, shoulders back. And fold, exhale. Hands might stretch up, they might stretch up and over. Keep the knees parallel, so maybe the knees need to press out open a little bit more. 
and then inhale glide back chair exhale stand stay here take a nice deep breath in and a smooth breath out inhale reach the arms out and up once again exhale fold soft knees if the back feels sensitive inhale halfway lift down dog exhale now you could stay there and have a whole practice without a vinyasa which might be an interesting experiment or now ready for our vinyasa so inhale come forward to plank if you want to exhale lie down or hover inhale cobra or up dog drag the shoulders back unlock the elbows good exhale down dog lift the hips up and back well done right leg floats up please inhale warrior one exhale round the left foot as you rise and almost like you're trying to lift the inner arch of the back foot then spin the left hip forward as you do that the tail likes to stick out and the belly kind of um, flops downwards so lift the front hips like you did in crescent bend into the front knee nice heather great reach through the arms reach through the crown get that space in the side waist one more breath there now hands on the hips inhale straighten the front leg exhale hop the back foot in pivot so you can easily square front forward inhale lift the chest nice chris exhale fold forwards and down keep the right hand where it is bring the left hand to a brick shin or floor reach the crown forward as you inhale and twist round right as you exhale but for today let that left hip drop draw the right sit bone back while still grounding the ball of the right big toe still breathing reach the crown forward turn the ribs maybe reach that right arm up let's take another breath there keep that back leg strong now bring that right hand back on your hip look down little bend in the front knee and then inhale come back up again as you exhale we're going to transition to warrior two so hop the back foot back open out left bend into the right knee and reach out through the arms press open that right knee nice heather a bit more in fact right heather that yep tail down belly back ribs back just take a breath into the side ribs and now from here inhale straighten the front leg exhale triangle reach the right arm forward and down but for today can you hover the right hand off the shin turn the chest reach up through that left arm so can you feel that by not placing the hand on the shin you have to use your core a lot maintain that draw the tail back towards your left heel turn the ribs option to stay or reach your arms forward arms parallel to the floor or thereabouts yes core so strong really nice Catherine really nice Jenny take a breath as you inhale bend the front knee exhale back up hands on your hips straighten the front leg pivot feet parallel well done lift the chest up inhale and fold forwards and down exhale a little softness in the knees hands to the block or the floor inhale chest up sit bones up and exhale fold and now just as we've been doing a little tone of the lower belly work to straighten the legs without locking your joints and let your head go heavy and this is subtle i know but what happens if you just gently lift your right pelvis a little and then the left pelvis a little just observing it's like these tiny little movements that snuggle you into the pose you can explore how it feels a little more and let's take that a little further so try to lift the right pelvis a bit keep it there and now reach the right fingertips forward and over towards the left and at the same time as you reach away through the right fingertips can you draw back that right thigh and that right sit bone lots of space in the right low back and now bring that right hand back to where it was drop the right pelvis lift the left pelvis a bit reach the left fingertips forward and then walk them over to the right and as you walk the right left 
fingertips away, draw back the left hip crease, the left top thigh, breathe open the whole outer left body. Nice. And then inhale, walk the left hand back to where it was and just pause there as you exhale. Now inhale, walk your hands around to the front of the mat, pivot the feet. Exhale, drop the back knee, scooch it back. Inhale, turn round right, reach up that right arm. Stay and just lunge forward or bend up the back knee, catch the back foot. And for today, let that left pelvis drop a bit as you turn. But in the same way as we did in temple, in um, pyramid pose, can you squeeze the inner thighs as though together? And then maybe draw in that back heel a little more if you're in that one. Just one more breath there. And as you inhale, bring both hands down, pause. Exhale, come on up, bring your hands onto the front thigh. One more thing. Square the hips front. So Chris, left hip forward a little bit more. Inhale, hands fold to prayer. Exhale, twist round right. And as we've been doing, let the left pelvis drop a little. Press the prayer and turn. Now option, tuck the back toes and lift the back knee. But keep pressing the prayer to turn the chest. And keep, if you've lifted the back knee, work that back leg super strong. Press the heel back. Nice, guys. One more breath as is. Squeeze in the outer hips. Nice, Jenny. Inhale, both hands down. Down dog or one leg down dog. Exhale. And if you're in one leg down dog, bend the knee, roll open the hip, square right. And then come on back to down dog. Take a breath there, stretch it back. Inhale, float up that left leg behind you. Exhale, warrior one. Ground the outer back foot, rise up, reach up. Lift the inner arch of the back foot as you then work to spin the right hip forward. So sometimes if it doesn't help just to think of spinning the hip forward, think of drawing the inner right thigh back. Nice scoop up, Catherine, that looked great. Bend into that front knee, reach through the crown, reach through the arms, Just take another breath there. Good, hands on the hips, inhale, straighten. Exhale, hop the back foot in, pivot, square the hips. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, fold forwards and down, right hand to your brick or the floor or the shin. Drag the chest forward, inhale. Twist round left, exhale, but let the right pelvis drop. Draw, nice Jenny, draw that left outer hip back. And then maybe reach up that left arm. Just really through that outer thigh, that outer glute, all the way into that right, uh, sorry, the left lower back. So it's a version of twisting triangle, but not the traditional one. Now inhale, look down, bend the front knee, exhale. And then inhale, come on up. And as you exhale, we're opening out warrior two. So hop the back foot back, turn the hips right, bend into that left knee. Now press the left knee open. We've just done internal rotation. So this is external, so it will feel different. Super strong back leg, tail down, belly back, ribs back. A bit more Chris, so a little bit longer in that low back. Just take a breath there. Nice, everyone. Inhale, straighten up the front leg. Exhale, triangle, reach the left arm forward and down, but don't bring it all the way down. Hover it, turn the chest, reach up through the right arm. Now think of drawing that belly in so much that the tail draws back towards your right heel. Option to stay or reach the arms forward and work to turn the ribs. Nice, guys. Belly in, so strong there. Nice, Heather, great. One more breath. Inhale, bend the front knee. Exhale, come back up. Hands on the hip, straighten the front leg now. Pivot feet parallel again, face the other side of the room. Lift the chest up, inhale, and fold, exhale. Hands for, forward on the floor. So on, be on your fingertips. So this is a bit like if you were fingertip, very wide leg down dog and then press your thighs back and feel how much length you can gather in the sides of the waist. 
the sides of the lower back. And then this is again, a little subtle, but what happens when you do a little sort of cow pose as you lift the sit bones and draw the pubic bone back? And then what happens when you do a little mini cat stretch and the tail draws down and the belly pulls in? And whichever you feel is most fruitful in this moment, come into that and just take a breath. Now walk the hands back onto your mat. Inhale, walk the hands round to the front of the mat, pivot the feet. Exhale, drop the back knee, scooch it back. Inhale, turn around left, reach up the left arm. Now you could stay here, just lunge the pelvis forward or bend up that back knee and catch the foot. And for today, let that right hip drop as you turn round, but think of squeezing the outer hips in, squeezing the inner thighs together. Roll open the chest, nice Catherine, keep lunging forward. Chin down, Jenny, neck long. Take a breath. And as you exhale, bring both hands down. Inhale, come on up, bring your hands up onto the front thigh, square the hips front. Inhale, hands fold to prayer. Exhale, twist left. Look that right elbow. Now press the prayer, turn. Option, tuck the back toes and exhale to lift the back knee. You wanna press the back heel back, reach the crown forward, get that space across that uh, sort of twisting line. Excellent, really excellent. One more breath. Inhale, both hands down, spread the fingers. Exhale, down dog or one leg down dog. And if you're in one leg down dog, exhale, bend the knee, roll open the hips, square left, take a breath. Inhale, straighten out and exhale back to down dog. Just take a breath there. If you really feel the need, move through a vinyasa, but I'm kind of having fun with the idea of not vinyasaing in a vinyasa practice. Such a rebel. And when you're ready, inhale, walk, step or jump the feet up to the hands, chest draws forward and exhale, fold. Now flat back stand, inhale, reach out and up, stretch up tall. Nice, exhale, prayer. Pause, take a breath, spread the toes, anchor the feet, legs are strong, inner thighs, Draw back wide and apart, but the tail draws straight down to the heels. So the lower belly still tone. Lift up through the crown, draw back through the shoulders. Maintain the alignment, but just soften a little and take one more breath. Now ground that right foot, hug the left knee to your chest and stand tall. And as we did, I think last week, let the left hip drop just enough so the pelvis stays level, but you've got to really hug in the outer right hip so that standing leg is really strong. Yes, nice, Jenny, great. A little straighter through the standing leg if you can. And as the shoulders draw back, just try to be a bit softer across the shoulder girdle. Take another breath. And as you exhale, release this. And let's swap, so ground that other foot, lift, hug in, stand tall. And then there's that little drop of the lifted sit bone, yes. The outer hips hug in, standing leg a little straighter, crown so tall, the shoulders pull back, but there's a bit of softness and ease through the shoulders. Take another breath. And as you exhale, release. Now change sides again, but this time you're gonna lace the fingers under the left thigh around the hamstring as you stand tall. But same action, drop the left sit bone, squeeze in the outer hips, work the standing leg, reach the crown, shoulders back. And now you could stay here or exhale, straighten the left leg forward. Inhale, bend again. Exhale, straighten. Inhale, bend. Exhale, straighten. Now keep the core strong. Keep the leg there. Inhale, reach the arms up. Can you lift the leg higher? Nice, Chris. One more breath. Inhale, bend. 
exhale, release. Good, feel that through the frontal hip, hey? So let's change, so ground that left foot, lace the fingers behind the right hamstring and stand up tall. But just like you did with the first version of this pose, make the hips level to the floor, squeeze the outer hips in, stand tall. And as you exhale, straighten the right leg forward. Good, inhale, bend. Keep that left hip dropping. Exhale, straighten. Sorry, right hip. I was looking at Catherine. Inhale, bend. One more, exhale, straighten. Keep it there. Belly strong, reach the arms up. Keep squaring the hips front. Keep squeezing the outer hips in. One more breath, lift it higher. Inhale to bend and exhale, release. Well done, hands to prayer. Jenny, you made that look so easy. Inhale, reach the arms out and up, stretch up high. Exhale, dive all the way down, soft knees if you need, hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen up, down dog, exhale. Take a breath. One more. And as you exhale, drop down child's, but have your knees together. Sit the hips back. Use your hands pushing into the floor or your mat to lengthen the hips backwards. And feel almost like a little cat stretch in your pelvis. So there's that extra little stretch into the low back. Just take a breath there. And then bring the hands back under the shoulders and inhale, come on up to sit onto your heels. Now, if this doesn't feel right for you, you might grab your brick. You might even grab your brick and your foam block, but <clears throat> it's a really common pose, but I like never do it because I find it so hard. Virasana or hero. So lift your bum a bit, step your feet out wide, but well, not wide, but wider, your knees stay together. And then you're gonna sit your bum down between your heels. So I need two blocks under there or else it's impossible for me. Now you still want your toes pointing back and you want the heels outside the hips. And if it already feels like murder, lift your seat higher. When I started doing it, I would sit on like two bolsters. It was like I had a little chair under there. Now lace the fingers, turn the palms forward. Draw the little fingers and thumbs back. And then as you inhale, lift the arms up overhead. Press up through the heels of the hands, but draw the ribs back. Good. And then bring the hands out in front of you. Check out which little fingers on top and swap. So other little finger on top, the second interlace. Little fingers and thumbs draw back. Inhale, lift up. Press up through the heels of the hands, drop down through the little fingers and thumbs. Arms hug in towards the ears, but those front ribs gently draw back. And then bring the hands down in front of you, release them, shake them out for a moment. And then rest your hands onto your thighs, palms down, sit tall through the spine and just take a breath there. Just one more time, just letting the thighs somewhat rest in this internal spin. And mindfully open the eyes and walk your hands forward. That's enough for me. So tuck the left toes on the floor behind you, press the heel back. So you just stretch out through the ankle, calf and back knee. And release the left knee and change. So tuck the right toes on the floor behind you, press the heel back, straighten out through that right leg. And then release it. Okay, so move your blocks if you had them. <clears throat> And now come to sit down, straighten the legs forward. So we're gonna keep going, I'm afraid, with this internal rotation. So lean to your right and bring that left foot into half hero. So like half of the version of the pose we just did. Now again, you might want your block and in which case you just bring it under just the right sit bone. 
and try to come and sit up tall again. Now inhale, lift the chest up. And as you exhale, just start to hinge forward. Doesn't have to be far. Maybe your hands walk forward on the floor. Maybe you grab shin, ankle, or foot if you find this pose easier than I do. Let's take another breath there. And as you inhale, come back up and keep the legs. Exhale, you're gonna bend your right knee out and bring the right foot to the inner left thigh. Now, if that right knee's up, use your other block underneath the outer thigh for some support if you want. So bring that left hand onto your right leg, your right hand behind you. Now sit up tall as you inhale, twist around as you exhale, but as you twist, can you then start to reground your left sit bone? And that feels counterintuitive because the left hip wants to lift so much to help you twist. Let's take a breath there. And then as you inhale, come back. Exhale, counter twist round to the right. Come on back, lean to your right enough. You can release that left foot Ugh. and just give the ankle a little swivel around and we're gonna change. So move your brick first. So you're gonna lean over to your left, bring that right foot into Ardha Virasana, half hero. Sometimes you kind of have to move the calf out the way, but don't push it straight out. Draw it back towards the ankle and then out so it keeps some space in the knee. Now, again, maybe you lift your left sit bone if that feels helpful, because you're trying to get your hips somewhat level. So inhale, sit up tall, and exhale, fold forwards and down. Maybe hands come forwards, maybe they don't. And creep that left heel forward, draw the toes back but keep the pelvis level to the front of the mat. And then as you inhale, come on up, keep the legs. Exhale, bend out the left knee, put the foot inside the right inner thigh, pat up the left knee if you need. This one always feels so funny to me. Right hand onto your left knee, left hand behind. Sit tall, inhale, turn round, exhale. But as you twist, can you try to reground your right sit bone? I know that's a big ask. Yes, nice Heather. Turn round through the upper chest, be a little softer through the front shoulder. One more breath. And then inhale, come back, keep the legs. Exhale, counter right, de-rotate and then come on back now lean to your left enough that you can release the right leg move your block if you had it <clears throat> circle the foot if you need so now straighten both legs forward you might want to sit up on the foam block or not it's up to you sit tall up as you inhale and fold forwards and down as you exhale hands on the floor shins ankles or feet heels away toes back just feel your way into the lower back there. See if that internal work of the hip joints has helped create some more space in the lower back, maybe. Two more breaths. And as you inhale, just glide your way back up. And as you exhale, bend that left knee a little, slide the right leg under it so the heel's outside the hip. And then if you can, stack your left knee on top of the right knee, heels outside the hips. But if you need to sit up on something or hold onto the ankles so they don't slide forward, do. So sit up tall as you inhale and fold forwards as you exhale. So Chris, it's a stacked knees as opposed to, um, and if, yeah, if that doesn't work, you can cross the shins, that's okay. That knee, it bugs the knee, yeah. So just like you found in pigeon, little flex in the feet sometimes can help that stability. Just take a breath there.
And then as you inhale, pad your way up, lean back and exhale, just change over the stack of the knees or the cross of the shins. And with all that IT band work, that outer thigh work from the standing series, maybe that feels a bit more open, <laughs> maybe not. Sit tall as you inhale, then fold as you exhale. Anchor the sit bones. Breathe. And then as you inhale, glide back up, lean back, exhale, release the legs. Give them a little flop around again. Scoot your way forward. If you want to put on a layer, now's a good time. And come to lie down onto your back and just hug in the knees for a couple of moments. And then when you're ready, reach your arms out to the side, palms up. And as you exhale, drop the knees over right. Nice, easy twist. And for today, can you try to stack the knees on top of uh, the left knee on top of the right? And as you then maintain that, shuffle the right shoulder blade right, rest the right hand on the top knee, and then turn around, trying to reground the left shoulder, maybe reaching that left arm out or back. And maybe you use that right hand just to check are the knees still together, even if the left shoulder is not down. Just for today, just trying to keep that space. And at the same time, can you lengthen the outer lift, left hip forward towards the front of the mat? And with that deep breath, you might even feel like you kind of come out of the twist a bit with your inhale but then you might be able to deepen it a bit more with the exhale. And then with your inhale, bring the knees back up. Exhale, just hug them for a moment. Inhale, reach out the arms and exhale, drop them left. And stack the right knee on the left. Shuffle the left shoulder blade left reach the right arm out or on a diagonal. Use your left hand to again, just check in and the, the knees slide apart again. And as you keep them towards one another, then can you try to reground the right shoulder? And fill up with your inhale and settle and deepen the twist with the exhale. And at the same time, just stretch the outer right hip forward. And as you inhale, bring those knees back up. Exhale, hug the knees back in. Now open the knees to the shoulders, hug them in wide, press the tail down. Stay here or happy baby. Catch the hamstrings, ankles, big toes, outer feet, whatever you want. And now keep the right leg as is. In fact, hold the right leg with both hands and straighten the left leg out along the floor. Now work the left leg really strongly. Press forward through the heel, ground the back of the calf, the back of the thigh. And if you're in happy baby with that right leg, can you bring that right heel more completely on top of the left knee? Sorry, on top of the right knee. So it's more of a 90 degree angle. As you exhale, come back to hugging both knees or in that normal happy baby. Keep the left leg as is, hold it with both hands now and straighten out through the right leg. And flex the foot, press forward through the right foot, ground down through the right calf and thigh. And then if you're in happy baby, can you get that left heel more completely on top of the left knee? And 
And as you exhale, come back one more time to happy baby or catch your knees. Good, and then with an exhale, place the feet down onto the floor. Now use the heels of the hands in that top line of the upper thigh bone. So like right where the frontal hips meet the thighs. And with the heels of your hands, just push the thigh bones forward towards the front of your mat. And see if as you push the thigh bones forward, you just feel that extra sense of space and relief around the hip flexors, the lower back, everything that we've been really working with today. And then just slowly let it go. Reach the arms in a cactus shape and then pigeon toe the feet. So heels wider than the toes and drop the knees together. Once again, that internal rotation of the thighs and be very soft around the inner groins like the space lower and to the sides of the navel. Just let that soften, let the frontal hips just soften. Let's take a couple of breaths, just creating some ease in that center point of your body. And come back if you've lost it to the breath we worked with so much in right at the beginning. Fill up and expand with the inhale. Relax and soften with the exhale. Now, if you want to stay there a little longer than do, otherwise just slowly straighten the legs forward and release the arms down. And if your low back would like support, Roll to your side and come up and grab something for under your knees, your bolster or a rolled blanket or towel. <clears throat> and as always, feel free to have a blanket over you or something over your eyes if you are in somewhere that's quite bright. and then get any last little fidget out the way so you can really settle and relax into this moment. And similarly to right at the beginning of the practice today, let's just use the breath to arrive. So a nice, slow, long inhale, a gentle exhale. Let's do that again. And one more. Now just let yourself melt downwards.
extra time this morning, I invite you to stay as is. Otherwise, just start to deepen your breath. Bring a little movement to your fingers and toes. And as you inhale, reach your arms up over your head and stretch out. And as you exhale, ground the lower back, bend the knees, and roll to your side. And then just come on up and sit on the same prop you sat on in the beginning. So you're consciously bookending your practice with this pose. Whatever shin you had crossed in front in the beginning, which usually is just the one you initially do, change here. So the other shins in front. And just observe that all that space in the hips, in those front of the hips and the belly, and that little bit more support that the belly can offer into the lower back gives you that sense of steadiness and an ease in your foundation. And just take a breath, just settling into that feeling. And then sitting a little taller, exhale and fold the hands to prayer. And to re-energize, let's do those circles from the beginning. So as you inhale, reach the arms out and up, stretch up. Exhale, prayer. Two more in, gather the breath. Exhale, sit taller. And out. And stay here, lift the chest, bow the head. And take one more full long breath in. And gently sigh it out. <sighs> Namaste. Mm.